And I really want to get into a new composite type of material that a lot of boat builders have been using for about probably the last 16 years on transom material, which leads us to our next expert guest. He's right over here. This is Andrew Brown. Hey, John. And hello. Andrew is with BoatOutfitters.com, and we're now up at your factory in Ocoee, Florida. And boat builders have been using what product instead of wood in a lot of the popular model boats now for transom materials, for stringers, for decks. What, what's this material called? Well, John, it's called Cusa Board, specifically Cusa Blue Water 26. How is, how is this Cusa Board, how is it different than plywood? Sure. So it's a uh, high-density polyurethane foam that's reinforced with woven roving and continuous strand fiberglass. Okay, so there's layers of woven roving fiberglass. We've shown that before on the program, guys. It's it's sandwiched into polyurethane polyurethane foam foam, and then it has continuous strands of fiberglass throughout it. That's what gives it its strength. It is. Yes. It's very lightweight in comparison to plywood. How much lighter is it? 30 to 40 percent lighter than plywood. And the water absorption rate is the other major advantage. The water absorption rate of uh, Crucible Board is in the area of 1%, whereas uh, plywood would be in the 20 to 50%, depending on the quality. But because it's composite, it's not organic, even a tiny little bit Absolutely. of water, that 1%, isn't going to rot this. You don't have rot, you don't have mildew, you don't have any insect-related issues with the uh, composite material. OK, what are the different thicknesses that Kusa board comes in? Kusa comes in half inch, 3 quarter, 1 inch, inch and a half. Uh, you can also sandwich different material thicknesses together if you have a unique thickness you're trying to achieve. I want to talk about how wide my transom is. I'm, I'm thinking we could get away with a 96 inch long piece of Cusa board, and, and, and how big do these sheets come in? Sure, so Cusa is typically shipped in uh, 96 by 48 sheets, uh, so your transom just barely fits in a single sheet. Whoa, a lot of boats might be a little bit wider than 96 that have a rotted transom. Right. They might want Cusa. What, what, what do they have to do? Well, like you say, there's a lot of people with larger transoms, so what you do is you can certainly seam it. And when you seam it, the recommendation is to do a puzzle piece joint which will make it much stronger than just a standard lap joint. But this is something we do regularly that we could certainly do for, uh, for customers. I, I do want to talk about bonding. Okay, can you bond it to the board with polyester resin? Absolutely. All standard uh, adhesives will work perfectly with two support. What, what if I had the guys like on our transom? What if I had some like little pieces of door skin with a hot glue gun and I had them kind of make the shape of my transom? and we got it here. Could you digitize it and then have it cut on the CNC machine? Uh, we can digitize the template, um, you know, and oftentimes we're doing that, depending on the complexity of it. Sometimes uh, a hand sketch or a drawing works just fine as well, uh, but we can certainly cut it to any size or shape that you require. Okay, and this can be used in transom. This could be used for rotted stringers. This could be used for rotted bulkheads. This could be used for replacement on rotted decks. And this is, this is the new stuff. This is what the boat builders are going with, called Cusa Board. How do people at home actually get it? They can find us at BoatOutfitters.com.